Mishriff is roused to the lead. Mishriff covers the cup. Mishriff was your trainer. What would you have learned from the man Mishriff? He taught me the Arab way of looking at the horse. And he was a very, very good trainer and jockey. The build of the horse, what to look at, what that matters, what doesn't matter. And what I did, when I went there and I found a completely different way in your country, I tried to sort of manage them and use, and I still look at a horse. When I first see him, like I look at an Arab horse. You know, you never know what you're getting when you breed them. But you try and hope that some of them are good and you get to believe it if they bred them. When you saw him as a young horse, why did you identify him as the one with potential? As a what fall, did you see? He was horrible. The first picture I got from him, his legs were standing like that and going all over the place. I said, oh my God, what am I going to do with this? And then Coolmore, two weeks later, sent me another picture and he looked like a horse. So when I went in the summer, he was about seven, eight months old. And they took the horses out there. There were some nice horses there. He looked like a proper horse. And John thought to him, he said, send me something like this, I can train it. I said, you're the best trainer in the world. You should be able to train anything. <laughs> no, when he walked in the yard, he, his all horse was all frame, you know, he wasn't furnished out at all. But he always had a good positive attitude about him and he was very playful. One thing I knew is that with the frame on him, as he got older, he'd get better. And he, he won nicely as a, as a two-year-old, but his three-year-old year was a revelation. But he won very well the Newmarket Stakes and he went straight off and of course won the Prix de Jockey Club at uh, Chantilly, he showed a great turn of foot and then he went on to win at Deauville. So he showed himself to be at least the best three-year-old in France. And so it was the second running of the Saudi Cup and the plan has always been to come back again. And it looks a mighty tough field, but so it should be. You still think you need a versatility that is relatively unusual in a horse? Yeah, it is. The fact that he could do what he did that day, lay up with the American pace, win over a mile and an eighth, a mile and a furlong, and then come back a month later and win the Shiva Classic on a flat turf over. Mm. He's a pleasure to be around. And he's assertive. You go into his box, that's his box. You better be on the P's and Q's or he'll soon chase you out. He's one of those. Well, here he is, the horse that, if he wins the Saudi Cup, will be the, the richest thoroughbred ever. And Ben, you're charged with riding him every morning. What's he like to ride? He's amazing to ride, you know, like he's a big character and he knows he's good and here and there he's a bit too fresh. Wow. He's just pleased to ride a horse like that, you know. He needs a good rider though, doesn't he? No, he, he can be handful, you know, like he's, you know, he's big and strong and he's not everyone's right, that's for sure. You describe John Gosden as the best trainer in the world. John, I've never seen anybody so good with detail like John. It's ridiculous. I thought I was good with details and then I sit with him and said, just, just do what you want. You know, I like, I like my trainer to talk to me, mm. whether it's bad, good or ugly. But what's the fun for me of having a horse you don't know anything about? How important for Mishriff was that victory in the Judmont International? Well, I'll tell you what, from when we came out of here, that was my and John's target. It was the one race that uh, his owner, breeder, Prince uh, A. Faisal, wanted to win. I think it's quite a stallion-making race. Uh, it's a mile and a quarter in the heat of the summer. All age, uh, York flat, left-handed track, and a proper track with a long straight. And they start racing pretty early there, so it's a, it's a race that truly tests horses. He was very keen to make that a definitive race for, for Mishriff and the style in which he won it was very much everything we could possibly have dreamed of. I can't believe it's been nearly a year since Mishriff won the Saudi Cup. Thady, what was that night like for you? Tell me about your memories of it. Well, it was a wonderful evening. Obviously, it was a pretty amazing achievement to actually have the race and the meeting on all together. It was a very tricky time of year and everything was shut down in Saudi. Uh, apart from the race, which is wonderful, and uh, obviously it was a pretty special night. Uh, Prince Faisal, who's obviously bred horses for a number of years and is a very special horse to him, he was there also, his whole family. And, uh, you know, if you don't feel the pressure a little bit, what's the point in doing it?
this Saudi Cup meeting obviously has had a huge impact on my life, being being the winner of it last year. Um, to be connected with Mishrif, I'm, I'm very lucky. Prince Faisal, who has been in the racing industry for so long and was able to win it with horsey bread, is, must be very special for him. And for me to be able to deliver that was very heartwarming because he had the faith in me to put such a a young rider in the race as retained jockey and uh, yeah, very thankful. You gave a young man a big, big chance when you took him on. Why? What did you see? I saw a good rider. He still needs to get some experience about the pace. Are you enjoying helping him develop as oh, a rider? Does that give you, does that give you a he's kick? A nice man. he's yeah. a nice boy. But David rode a beautiful race that day. He rode the perfect race. Do you see the interest growing in, in young people in, in Saudi is, Arabia? Oh, Mishrif did a lot. You should have seen the internet. People were dancing. <laughs> and because he was called Mishrif. Because people remember the Mishrif. significance of Mishrif yeah. the man and, yes. and what he did for yeah. you? Just Nobody loves racing on horses like Arabs. I just love the horse. And I think people that don't love horses shouldn't have anything to do with racing. This is the whole thing. If you don't enjoy it, leave it. Mm -hmm.